In this short video clip, we're going to look at assigning resources to tasks in Microsoft Project 2013. At the end of the previous clip, we populated our resource sheet view with the resources that we required. Now going to go back to the Gantt chart view. I'm going to type a few tasks. So I'm going to have a project name task. Task 1, task 2, and task 3. And I'm going to indent these, indent underneath the project name so I've got some sort of structure. Now there are many ways of assigning resources. I could double click a task and add the resources on there or I could uh, I'm on the entry table we've got a resource names drop down that's uh, there uh, I prefer to use the assign resources icon it's on the resource tab on the ribbon assign resources and so here we are task one I'm going to assign it to Joe click assign his name goes against the task Task two, I'm going to assign to Sam and Joe. I'm going to use the control key to pick those two up. And so there's a little convention I like to follow, that if your name appears first after the Gantt bar, then you are the accountable person. So when I need an update on task two, although Joe has been involved with it, I'm going to make that accountable to Sam, and Sam must ensure task two is delivered on time. Task three, I'm going to assign the airline tickets to. One airline ticket. I can actually put a cost on here now, £200, and it uh, assigns the airline tickets at £200 to that task. Now, at the moment, everything is happening concurrently on the same day. I've got Joe working on task one and Joe working on task two, which means that Joe is actually overloaded but we're not worried about that in this little demonstration. Let's have a look at the effect of assigning these resources to these tasks. I'm going to close this Assign Resources dialog box. And I'm going to change my view so that instead of looking at the entry table in this area, I'm going to be looking at the work table. And when I assigned those resources to the tasks when I put Joe onto task one by default at a day there's eight hours of work when I put Sam and Joe on task two eight hours each is 24 hours of work now let's have a look at the cost table here we have Joe now, Joe was paid £50 an hour. If we look at the resource sheet, we can verify that Joe is paid £50 an hour. Back to the Gantt chart. And so therefore, £50 times 8 hours is £400. So this cost here is indicating the total resource cost for task 1. There's the cost for task 2. And there's the £200 for the airline tickets. There is another way of managing your costs in Microsoft Project, and that is to put a one-off fixed cost against the task. Now, this is probably why Microsoft Project have created this cost resource, because now I can absolutely see for sure that airline tickets is costing 200 and it appears here. Previously, I might have put a fixed cost in here, and there's nothing to indicate what that cost is for. That could be some expenses. Um, what I could do is double click the task and go to notes and actually type that in £150 for expenses for doing that task. An interesting thing to note is that the roll up of the fixed costs does not appear against the total fixed costs. However, the roll up of these costs does mean that this project now costs £1,470. You might also note that the £400 that was the total cost for labour now says 550 because it is adding in that fixed cost for the um, expenses associated with the task. So this now is not just the labour cost, this is the total cost for that task. 
So that's a, a quick look at assigning resources in Microsoft Projects and viewing the effects and the costs associated with it.